Hey guys, so we all know that these AI agents have come a long way in a very short period of time. I mean, just yesterday we were talking about how these AI agents are uh, becoming the next big thing. Uh, but today, already, we are talking about using multiple AI agents in our applications and uh, multimodal AI agents. So today's video is all about uh, multimodal uh, AI agents. So these days, companies are investing heavily in these AI agents uh, to use them in their uh, AI applications for uh, to make their uh, applications more advanced uh, and robust. So the, the multi, multiple AI agents are used to interpret and respond to diverse, uh, you know, multimodal uh, user queries, thereby um, handling more intricate and uh, uh, nuanced tasks. So the core concepts of these AI agents are uh, basically perception, uh, planning, action, and memory. So these components of these AI agents uh, make them really powerful. So uh, what is per perception, right? So these AI agents can easily understand any complex user prompts. And uh, when it comes to planning, uh, they can, um, they can, they can uh, subdivide the big task into uh, subtasks so that they can handle these tasks very easily to complete that big task. And uh, uh, the action part, uh, they can call any API or any tools. Uh, any tools can be integrated and they can call them anytime uh, whenever there is a requirement to solve these tasks. So, and uh, about the memory, um, these, these agents uh, can have the memory like uh, message history. So they know uh, they can remember everything what has happened before, like what uh, action has been taken and in the further steps, what action needs to be taken and which um, tool should be or API should be called to solve a particular problem. So um, that uh, these components make uh, an AI agent more uh, capable and robust. So as you can see in the image, right? See, um, uh, it's, it's it shows everything, all parts of an AI agent, like the uh, the the perception uh, and uh, the action, the memory uh, and uh, and the planning. So uh, these four things go uh, goes into building an AI agent and uh, in the next part of this video, let's see how we can actually build a multi-model AI agent workflow. Hey guys, so as you can see here, uh, here's a multi-model uh, AI agents workflow uh, that has all the concepts, uh, the components that we just discussed. Uh, and it all starts with the user and uh, the instructions or the prompts. Uh, it can be in any format, any modality, and uh, which goes through the Crew AI. Actually, Crew AI is a tool where you can actually, that will help you build these AI agents. And uh, that's what we are using here in our tutorial today. Uh, so we are basically defining the agents, like there is a rotor agent, there is a retriever agent and uh, the uh, respective uh, tasks for a router agent, there is a router task and for retriever agent, there is a retriever task. And we define agents and tasks using uh, Crew AI and there is a process uh, sequence flow uh, that helps you to generate response uh, in any format, in any modality. That's why we call it multimodal, um, multimodal AI agent workflow. So, as you can see here, uh, the tools part, uh, we are basically using uh, Replicate and uh, Tabula, Tagli as our tool. So I'm gonna explain uh, them in brief in the next part of the video when we are actually carrying out this tutorial. So for any user query, uh, the uh, there are tools that can be used. The, the agents can call these tools anytime uh, whenever it is required. So this is how a simple uh, workflow uh, uh, shown here and uh, yeah and uh, the user instruction can be in any modality and it basically goes through the crew ai where we are basically defining the agents and the respective tasks and these agents have the capability to call the tools that we have described and uh, to basically generate the response uh, back to the user it can be in any format so Let's see this in action through a simple tutorial. Hey guys, so here's my complete tutorial on building a multimodal AI agent workflow. 
and uh, here is our tech stack we are basically using uh, four different tools uh, in this tutorial uh, replicate ai crew ai grok and tavli so replicate ai is a cloud based platform that helps businesses run and host machine learning models crew ai as we all know is an open source framework that uses uh, ai to uh, orchestrate uh, autonomous ai agents to work together as a team to complete tasks and uh, grok is an ai company that designs and manufactures hardware and software to speed up ai inference uh, inference performance and tavli is a search api um, uh, it's it's tavli search api is a search engine optimized for llms and rack applications so uh, these four uh, uh, tools we are using this is our tech stack so um, I am using single store notebooks feature uh, and that is where I'm running all my code. Uh, I'm gonna share the uh, notebook code uh, in the video description below so that you can go and try it out to understand how uh, you can mimic this and build a multi-model AI agent workflow. So first things first, uh, uh, install the required dependencies and libraries. Uh, here we're also using Langchain as you can see and uh, Crew AI. Um, and then we need to set up the API keys, uh, open your API key, replicate API key, Tavli API key, Grok API key. So you can go to the respective websites, uh, official websites and find their API keys. And uh, next, uh, let's create web search tool. So we need to create these tools. So that's what we are doing. Uh, create web search tool, uh, help a function uh, using uh, the Tavli search. So, uh, that's what we are doing here uh, and then create a helper function to create text to speech tool um, that is what we are doing here and uh, uh, we are also creating helper function to create image from textual descriptions so whenever uh, there is a textual description it, need, it needs to create an image right so for that we are creating a tool and uh, we are also creating a helper function to process information from the image provided so that it can uh, tell us what the image is all about when we give when we when a user is, uh, user prompt is uh, in the form of image so and then we are uh, setting up the rotor tool uh, as we we saw in the workflow image uh, and then uh, we are setting up the retriever tool um, right and then we are setting up the LLM uh, from Grok. So this is our LLM. We are using Llama 3.170B versatile. And we are also setting up the rotor agent. And similarly, we are setting up the uh, retriever agent uh, and then the respective tasks. Uh, set up the rotor task and uh, set up the retriever task. And uh, finally, we are uh, setting up the crew. I mean, like basically we are mentioning the agents, retriever agent and the re retriever router agent and the retriever agent and the re respective tasks. Uh, so this is our crew setup and uh, let's do a simple image generation task. So let's kick, kick off the crew and uh, the input is um, the user prompt is like generate an image based upon the upon this text, uh, a close up portfolio photo of a beautiful Indian model woman, uh, perfect eyes, uh, bright studio lights, uh, bouquet of 50 mm photo, a neon pink uh, visor. So we want this, we, 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 we gave some description about the image, the type of image we want, and we uh, kicked off the crew and let's see how it goes. So it goes through the um, uh, agent wise uh, in a loop and tries to understand the user agent and comes up with the proper answer, right? See the uh, rotor tool, it's like text to image. It picks up like, yeah, I need to do the text to image thing here. So the final thing is uh, text to image and then the task next is like generating the image and it basically generates us these, this, this image. And once I go to this image, uh, you can actually see the what the image is all about. Actually, it's not connected now. Uh, once you click that image, it gets downloaded and uh, you can actually see what that image is all about. Now, uh, this this it's not connected. So 
that's the reason I can't say it but uh, that's how the image got created and uh, now if I uh, if I tell it to display the image generated uh, this is the image uh, that's been generated okay so for this particular test uh, the prompt generate an image based upon the text a close up a, a close up portfolio photo of a beautiful indian model woman so this is the image that got generated <clears throat> okay and let's uh, kick off uh, crew to describe the image based on the user instruction right so let's give it a uh, image url and see how it describes that image we saw how the uh, image text to uh, image and now let's see image to text how it works okay so we are giving the image url here is the image url right and for this let's see how it describes that that image basically right so it enters the um, uh, qvi chain and uh, the action is router tool provide a detailed description for the image we provided and uh, it's like uh, image to text so previously we saw text to image if you see here we saw the where is it where is it text to image here so now we are say, saying uh, now what we are saying is uh, image to text okay so as you can see the final answer is like it finished the whole chain and then the final answer is like the image provided is a photograph of a person sitting on a rock at the edge of a body of water with a mountain range in the background. So I am I have given it a image URL and uh, it's it's actually actually um, giving me the uh, the final answer. So yeah, I mean we saw how we saw we saw basically two types right text to image and image to text you can also um, extend this uh, extend this um, tutorial to basically do much more uh, with uh, other um, prompts right text to audio audio to image so that's all possible and uh, yeah i mean uh, i'm going to share this whole um, tutorial link in the description so that you can go through and try it yourself to see how multimodal the agent workflow uh, basically uh, works thanks hey guys a huge shout out to mr plaban naik i uh, basically followed his uh, recent uh, tutorial and this video is all about that and whatever you saw in the tutorial it's the uh, it's the modified uh, thing of his uh, article tutorial so you guys can i'm going to share the link of this tutorial uh, this article uh, in the description of this video so you can go and try to do much more and understand how the multimodal agent workflow uh, basically works and uh, yeah thanks